10 reasons why a Shibuya Wood sucks and guess what troops it's another one of these and I love burying wrestling I love burying these wrestlers and I think we've got 10 pretty good reasons so let's dive off with number one he's an absolute nerd I think nerds in most walks of life are pretty pathetic but especially in the professional wrestling business I feel like we've just lost what wrestling used to be and again made a fair about Harley Race recently I think there needs to be some middle ground between like a Harley Race and a Chevy or Woods a scumbag and a nerd we need to be in the middle I think that's where we need to be and that expire to be but I mean I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with playing video games but when it, when you make it your entire gimmick I think it is horrendous now I mean I, I mean I upload the odd videos or gaming right but at the end of the day that's my job Chevy Woods' job is to be a fucking Dider performer wrestler Main FM pay-per-views, put it all on the line. Not play GM mode with Tyler Breeze, and that, that, that's probably the most highlight thing of his career. Well, I think there's probably one thing better than that, but we'll get to that a wee bit later on. And uh, reason number two, he's the only New Day member not to win the WWE title. And I tell you what, a few years ago, WWE given the belt to Kofi Kingston and Big E, and like you seen Bobby Lashley winning it. I think they were definitely going for a wee bit of a Black History Month, but more for the the whole year sort of deal and uh, I think Xavier Woods did he get dealt a shorthand no he didn't he is the worst member of the New Day that's not another reason on this list that's just facts he's not that good compared to the other two like Big E has the physical presence and I feel like Kofi Kingston has been there that long and I, I, Kofi can work right I'm not the biggest fan of Kofi he should not him and Big E should never have been champions if you want to check out that video go watch it but again they're better than the Xavier Woods Reason number three, he is literally a lower mid carder. Like without the new day, this guy's a bum. Like we've seen recently on Raw that he can't even beat Dominic Mysterio. Oh, but Dominic Mysterio was getting help. So bad. It doesn't matter. Dominic Mysterio was getting help, man. This guy couldn't beat the Brooklyn Brawler without without the new day. So that's what it is. Reason number four, Brad Maddox packs more than him. If you know, you know. Of course, the page leaks came out, and uh, I mean, a few of these thumbnails are basically just Shavier Woods and Page. So, may as well get into it. I don't know if these two were ever dating. The the rumours are that they kind of were, but to me, that just makes the whole situation worse. If Shavier Woods and Page were dating, and then Brad Maddox was filming it and also joining in, and uh, yeah, BBC overpowered by WBC, brother, um, or no BWC even. <laughs> the BWC, what the hell did the BWC stand for anyway? He jobbed out the Brad Maddox more, a few times here. He probably, probably Brad Maddox shoved it up his ass and showed him who's the real champion. Talking of shoving things up people's asses, we have got the trombone. That's reason number five why Chevier Wood sucks. He's just not very good. And this adds to it because he's not very good on the fucking trombone. And the gimmick, it's like, it's literally, his, it was his whole gimmick throughout the, the New Day tenure was to play a trombone. Absolutely sucks. Uh, reason number six, unworthy King of the Ring. Look at King of the Rings, man. Look at them. Austin, Edge, Triple H, Shivier Woods. Now, obviously wrestlers got worse and, you know, I think the, the last couple of <laughs> King of the Rings in general have sucked and, you know, that's no real surprise here about Shivier Woods. But this guy should never been winning it. King Woods. King of Ming. King of the Furio Games. Reason number seven. He's too thinned skinned because anytime fans criticize like wrestling or like the new day, he's like he's crying, he's absolutely greeting. I remember one that sticks out is someone said about Takeover was Brian, but we all know the main roster sucks. And like he, he spat the dummy over this now. Takeover also sucks, and the main roster also sucks, but he could he could very easily turn around and say like the rest of people do and be like, ah well, I make more money than you. Which is like the like what is like the the go to comeback with these wrestlers like ah well you're a bum mate and I'm traveling the world and making money but of course he took it to heart and started crying about it. Reason number eight, he's the cringiest member of the New Day. You look at the New Day, Kofi's not that cringy, but he is still kind of cringy. Then you've Big E, and then you've Shivier Woods. How the hell can you be more cringier than Big E? But Shivier Woods has managed it throughout his entire career with the New Day. He, Honestly, because with Big E, he is very, very cringy. But I feel like when he can, when he wants to, he can be a good worker and can actually like put in like a serious enough match. Well, with Shivier Woods, he's that much of a jobber. All the comedy stuff 
it's just outweighs anything else he can do and the comedy stuff is cringy as hell. Um, reason number nine, he's awful on the mic. Now, is he the worst member of the New Day on the mic? I'd probably say Big E's the best, but again, he's still a bit retarded. But with Shivia Woods, he's not good on the mic, right? It's the same. He speaks like a... He does. He speaks like a gamer. That's the best way I can describe Shivia Woods speaking. It's always the same, like, monotone, like, dumbed-down voice. W. W. E. World. Tag. Team. Like, that sort of voice, man. Absolutely horrendous. You should stick to playing Twister with Paige. And reason number 10, the New Day saved his career. Yep. You heard it here first, folks. The guy's a bum. He was going absolutely nowhere in WWE and then this group called The New Day, they've got offended and he was in it. And you know what, it, it, it saved all three of their careers. Well, I say it saved all three of their careers. I feel like Big E had a future because he still had, he did decent stuff with Dolph Ziggler. But by 2015, by the time this New Day came around, if we're being perfectly honest, Kofi Kingston had run his course. He was fucking shite. The Jamaican gimmick was in the bin and he wasn't doing much. But anyway guys, that's 10 reasons why Shelvier Woods sucks.